So look who's guilty about deciding not to do PlayStation 2 Stockyard. Wow, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a completionist. I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, well, was, that statement wouldn't make sense because I, in the playlist, this would come before the video skirmish which where I said I wasn't going to do this one, so never mind. I'm just ranting because I'm an idiot. Anyway, Stockyard or 2, as the file name is called, or I guess the PlayStation 2 version of Stockyard, is sort of like Datacore PlayStation 2, where it's basically just a cut-down version of the original map. Um, and I said Datacore, the PlayStation 2 version, wasn't really worth playing over the original version. That doesn't quite count here, because I feel the changes made here, the experience is different enough that you might want to check this one out, too. But you might also just want to stick to the, the original version anyway, so never mind everything. Let's just go check it out. So yeah, the big thing is, is that one of the yards is completely gone. Just, it's not here, as you see. It's, it's just a wall. Uh, like, the structure's still there, which is a really lazy way to get rid of these. Like, I would've just gotten rid of these pillars then and just made this a solid area. But yeah, this is what opened up to yard with the gun right here, if you remember the map. Um, I'm going to go through this assuming that you didn't actually ever look at the original map itself. So if you go into this room here, you got some nice stuff. You got a shotgun, always the best friend of everyone ever. In the original map, there's a secret little crate here that you can crawl through, like, you know, a vent and, like, stuff like that. But that doesn't exist anymore because that led to a part of the map that doesn't exist anymore. Go figure. So in that case, just ignore everything about this wall here. Come and get these pickups because that's always a good time. You can use this little area to drop into the tunnels or the hallways below. I won't do that, but I'll point it out. And now here's the remaining yard. Uh, this used to lead... There used to be a long-ass like corridor here that you could get to the other yard. And because of that, uh, pointing that out, I guess... <laughs> sneeze real quick. So, what they did add here, though, was a submachine sub gun. This did not exist in the original. And the player spawns are much... I feel there's more... Like, you're more likely to spawn in this yard anyway. So that's probably a good thing. So if you come up here, you have absolutely nothing except a shotgun. So never mind, there is something there. If you go this way, you get some health. And it, but these are both decent hiding spots. Not so much when you're on split screen, ironically, because you can just see what your friend's doing. But here, got up here to get a rocket launcher. Always a fun time guaranteed for all. And if you come over this batch, get uh, yet another submachine gun. There really needed to be two here, but then again, you know, if one person's like kind of spawn camping, you know, you don't want to really deal with that. You get up here using the elevator, and you can use the gun here to kill, cause major damage, which I had a great deal of trouble with in the original Stockyard video, but now everything's turning up New Line Void, so it's actually working now. Although I can't see much utility in the um, actual, like, PlayStation 2 version because, you know... If you see, if you look on the one screen, you're gonna notice someone's using it and you're not gonna go that way. But hey, it's here. Grab the crossbow. And then let's go into the warehouse, which is it's exactly untouched. And as you can see here, if you are familiar with the original map, yeah, that entrance has been blocked too. Yeah, they're used to this is where you could get to the other yard. Before we talk about this part though, let's go here. There used to be a health charger here, but it's not here anymore because, you know, that seems to be. The order of the day for these Half-Life uh, conversions. Half-Life PC to PS2 conversions. Uh, down here, though, I forgot to mention, you can still get the revolver. Fun time guaranteed for all. I don't know why the ammo's so limited, though. Unless, you know, I'm just going insane. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the warehouse. The only other major um, removal that they brought did here was that they took away the gauze. Uh, there used to be a gauze, um, cannon here that you could jump around and, like, get onto places easily. I imagine they might have took that out just either because of maybe performing gauze jumps are more difficult in the PS2 version. I've never tried it. Or maybe they just thought it was, like, the balance just, like, was unfair. If one person had it, they'd be able to get around this part here almost instantly. So that's why I bring up that this map's dynamic is a little bit different now. Because now you can't have, like, you know, it's a lot more grounded, especially without the health pickups. You're much more like everyone's a lot more even, I feel. And that's kind of like the case it was in Datacore, with like some of the like the removals there. But I feel it's a lot ma more major here for what I played. Hard to describe. Basically, what my point is that I feel like unlike you know PlayStation 2 Datacore, where it's essentially not really worth playing it over the original PC version. Uh, the Stockyard here, PS2. 
And by the way, all the power-ups uh, on the lights are still there. I, I goofed that up. And the long jump's here, too, in its little hidden spot. I'll go check that out real quick. Uh, but yeah, but unlike um, Datacore PlayStation 2, I feel that even with, like, you know, tech but technically it's a smaller map with fewer things in it, I feel the dynamic is a little bit, like, you know, it's not worse, necessarily. Where I feel like PlayStation 2 Datacore was an objective downgrade. I feel this is a nice little, like, remix, almost. The lack of the, the surprisingly the lack of the gauze and like you know the health and the smaller play field makes for a slightly different experience. Now I can't see most people wanting to do that because you know you'd have to take not only rip this version of the map out from the PlayStation 2 version and then convert it in from a BS2 file to a BSP like file, but hey, hey, it's there. It's the option if you're hungry for like Half-Life Deathmatch, and you know since people are still playing this. I know people want to do that. I'll at least try to show off the lights real quick here. You know, some people are going to be hungry. So, you know, check it out. But, yeah, anyway. Or you might want to check it out. But, anyway, let's get back up here real quick. If I could not fall down. Um. Okay, I might... What is your major malfunction, crates? If you get up here, you can easily long jump. You can do these lights without the long jump. I've done it before, but it, you have to actually go like do 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 do, and you know I don't. That's a lot of, too much effort. Anyway, yeah, get the health chart. They get the armor charges up there, and there you go. That's PlayStation 2 Data Core. Go figure. I mean, it's just like the other with Data Core. There, they removed the like the health charge, but if you look closely, there's the light still there. They're like the really minor light, but it's still there. I don't know why they're so. Why it was so much work to. I feel it take less work to remove the light than it is to remove the, the health charger itself. Because if you know you're mapping, you have to remove the brush that is the health charger. And then you gotta remove the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Then you gotta remove the light. But a thought just occurred to me. This just occurred to me, so I might have to check, do further investigation. On, in the PS2 version, at least, the charger stations are a lot more animated. Like, you know, and stuff like that. They're a lot more complex looking and they got animations and everything so it just occurred to me and i might have to go check it out that they, the reason they might not be showing up is not because the, the, the people removed them but because they went from a brush entity or a map brush entity to an actual just regular ass entity if that's the case i'm an idiot i'll have to check the ps2 version at some point because that is actually extremely likely now that i think about it sick Oh! I am a shotgun lan lunatic right now. You seeing these shots? I need ammo. Where is my ammo? Come on. So yeah, I've seen about all I need to see. So yeah, Stockyard on PlayStation 2. Again, I can't really, really super recommend it. Even though I'm recommending it more than Datacore PlayStation 2. Um, just because, you know, the effort to actually get this into the, like, the PC version here is probably just not worth it for a lot of servers and like people themselves. But if you do want a little bit of a remix of this map that you know has something like some interesting things to offer, you might want to take a peek to, at this one.